Hello. Well, we need a word from the Lord. We always need a word from the Lord. And I was thinking about that, and I thought the Lord began to speak to me. And he said, you know, you've been longing for normal. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have been longing for normal. I've been thinking, I've been sighing and saying, is, is, is it ever going to be normal again? We've been grieving. We've been, we've been trying to weather the storms of these recent years, and we're looking longingly to the past. And I would say as the Lord began to give me this word that without going into detail, we need to admit now that we're on the other side of normal, <laughs> that we're finding that perhaps normal was not what we thought it was. Perhaps in the light of what we're beginning to see now, perhaps normal in the past could be defined as even in some cases deception, denial, I mean, we felt like we were maybe living and we're looking back at it thinking, oh, that was, you know, fairyland, la-la land. <laughs> it seems that we've been ignorant of many things and often it was because we didn't want to be aware of them. And I think that's still going on today. When we, we, we refer to it as people need to wake up. Um, but now as we face what's coming next, we need to redefine and stop longing and praying for normal as we thought we knew it in the past. <laughs> so I have a question for you. When the power and the glory of the Lord sweeps across us like a blanket, will we still be longing for normal? Perhaps the Lord has had a different definition of normal all along and we've been living in our own boundaries, our own perspectives and paradigms, thinking we were comfortable and yet perhaps never even growing as we could or progressing as we could, never even going forward. We thought we were, but maybe we weren't. So the Lord himself is our normal. He is our living hope. So those that are saying, we now have no hope for the future, we have no hope of normal, we're still residents of the kingdom, and so we need to repent. We need to go back to hope because in truth, he is our hope. He is normal because he's supernatural normal. We never lose hope because he is hope. <laughs> I released a prophetic word months ago called the new supernatural normal. So we need to repent of our past emotions, even though, yes, of course, of course, there has been death and pain and tragedy and certainly we mourn that and we continue to mourn those that have gone on to be with the Lord so tragically. But we must cast our gaze once again, fresh and new to the living God who's all hope, all peace, all joy, and most of all, all power. Remember, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Now, I wonder why this is. <laughs> Could it be a reminder that outside of God is the flesh and the devil, outside of faith is the flesh and the devil, outside of hope is the flesh and the devil. It's time to persevere and move beyond the devil's plans for us because God, this new supernatural normal, we're, we're on the brink of something amazing. So we need to lift up our eyes, lift up our gaze. There needs to be a lifting up. There needs to be a rising up in this hour. Ezekiel's dry bones stood to their feet, an exceeding great army. So my, my thing is, where is that army today? Are they mourning the fact that normal has died and gone away in our life? Our way of life that we thought was a fairyland has gone away? No, the army of the Lord stood up to apprehend and rush forward, fulfilling their destiny. And that's you, and that's me, and that's the kingdom of heaven. So once again, we say we will look not to the things which are seen, but at the things which are unseen, like, for instance, like God. <laughs> it's time to look beyond ourselves to the purposes of God. There's something bigger than us. We need to look beyond what is God really doing in the heavens? What is really happening with the armies of heaven, with the angelic armies? Are they just standing around, I don't know, eating chocolate chip cookies and playing sad harp songs? No. 
They're not just mourning the old normal. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous, but it's the truth. No, they're not. They're doing what God has called them to do. Light is resisting and pushing back the darkness. Goodness, God, the power of God is pushing back evil. There are more who are with us. Think about the servant that saw the open, with the open eyes. There are more that are with us than, than, than are against us. And if God is for us, well then, who are they anyway? They are liars. They are those who can only win by killing and destroying and lying. So let's use discernment this hour. Because look around you. Over the last two years, people have shut the doors. They've closed the gates, actually being commanded to do so, giving in to isolation and separation and fear when the scripture says, open, open, open the gates that the king of glory may come in. We're afraid if we open the doors and we open the gates that the virus will come in and sickness will come in and death will come in. Fear has reigned. We need to close the door on fear, not on God, not on the assembling of ourselves together. I mean, so what happens if we open the gates? Do we have the scripture that we believe? Do we believe God's word? Do we believe that God will do what he has said he will do? Then let's open the gates and let faith arise. Let's stand up. Let's get out of the pit, rise up and grasp, apprehend our living hope, our destiny, grasp the faith that we've been given. Let's please God with our faith in this hour. This is the hour. I just heard this, my, my pastor in, uh, in Thailand that we work with, we love so much, um, just heard him release the words audacious faith. This is the season for audacious faith, mountain moving faith. Let us minister to the Lord so that the cloud of glory comes powerfully and strong and our flesh is overcome. The darkness flees. We are overwhelmed not with fear, not with isolation, but with glory. The glory of the Lord. This is the year of glory. Rise up, stand up, open up, and usher in the King of glory. Let the King of glory come in in this hour. Amen.